Here we are beginning of another day and we're now uh, at Lithuania's most famous tourist attraction of all, the Hill of Crosses. But um, I'll explain what it is later, but first we need to buy a cross or two. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Of this land of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. So this, this cross, yeah, they day walked from Lithuania on the 5th of May to Santiago on the 16th of October 2015. That is amazing. What a walk that is. That's a true pilgrim. Hello there. And this is the Hill of Cross for me. And I am going to place down this cross. And as I do so, um, I will say the Lord's Prayer. You know, you can join me too. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us poor sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So the story of the Hill of Crosses is, is that um, in, in the communist times, somebody put a cross on here and then it was taken down and by the authorities and so in the night they went and put another one up and it was taken down and they kept putting crosses up and at one time they they bulldozed the entire hill and then in the night they went and put thousands of crosses back up again um so that's the story on the top of that little hillock over there there is a grave that's since from the 1860s so i wonder if the, the first cross was all to do with that grave and maybe he was some kind of nationalist dude that the communist authorities wanted to forget. I don't know, but that's the story. And I think there's about 50,000 here today, although to be fair, counting them would be quite difficult. Um, this is the Hill of Crosses. So this is a bit weird, right? So the whole site is about breaking rules, yeah? And like define authority. <laughs> and yet here we have, the rules for visiting erection of crosses and <laughs> maintenance of hill crosses. Which, to be honest, like, kind of defeats the object. Because why would you have rules if the whole point was breaking rules? So, get rid.
Lithuania. And entering... Latvia. Now oh, there's the wedding cake building. So we are now in Riga, which has a far more Russian and Soviet feel than uh, anywhere in um, Lithuania had. And we're parked right next to one of these giant wedding cake buildings uh, built in the Stalin era. I think this is a mini, like a, an institute of science or something. And we're going to explore the Latvian capital. I've been before about 10 years ago, but for Thomas it's the first time. So let's go and explore Riga. So we are now inside the wedding cake building, uh, which has a panorama at the top, and we're about to go up to the top of the wedding cake. So I am now on the top of the wedding cake, or at least as high as I can go. There is a, a bit more there. We're on the 17th floor, and we've got these amazing views over the city. So there's the river, there's the old city, now this building here, uh, in the foreground, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, um, I think it's a market, but um, those buildings were originally Zeppelin hangars. Um, that I don't know where they bought them off the Germans, or they nicked them after World War II, don't know about that. But here is the city of Riga, it really does have a very Russian feel uh, to it, uh, far more than anywhere else we've been. So there's the central railway station, as you can see, and uh, um, during my last visit there to the city I, I took a train from there up to Segulda, there's a train coming in. Yes, I think that was pretty much like the one I took last time to be fair. Um, And there's, there's the station terminal itself. And then over here, if we walk around a little bit more, there's some pretty amazing sights. But um, foremost is this tower, which is the, the Riga television tower. I think, pretty sure that's a Soviet one. It's, it's got that feel to it. I went up one of those in Tashkent uh, when we were there. Uh, it's pretty space age and fantastic and of course this is the southern side of the city it's not so dramatic as the center it's about 368.5 meters and built between 79 and 86 that tv tower according to the little poster there and here we have the the rest of the water's edge so there are zeppelin hangars again and um there's, there's the river. Um, to say I went here before, last time I, I came here, I remember um, I crossed those two bridges because oh, on the other side there's a railway museum and I hired a bike for the day and I um, went over to the other side, went to this railway museum and came back and they were, they were racing speedboats, I, I recall, um, on that day. But anyway, this is Riga from the top of probably its most beautiful building. Welcome to the Soviet Union. This is the building we're in. It's the Latvian Academy of Sciences. It's 107 meters high, 21 stories. We're on the 17th. Started in 1951 and um, finished in 1961. And again, very, very Stalinist in its style.
So we're now looking around Riga Central Market. They're the Zeppelin hangars. We're going to go in them in a second. And what's quite amazing, we're in the middle of this COVID epidemic. I haven't seen a single mask here. So, uh, yeah, let's go into the, uh, the hangars. Apparently wearing masks is mandatory inside in Latvia. See everybody's obeying that rule. Fishy and meaty around here. Yeah. Yeah, because there aren't any. Like, do people go... <gasps> they might do, mightn't they? forest uh, somewhere between Cheshis and Sigulda and we've seen this sign for bunkers so we thought that looks quite cool so we're gonna have a look and see what they're I think they're partisan bunkers from during the war look quite funky all the bunkers are located a few kilometers in wood no uh, wood uh, under the ground more 70 years not possible it's destroyed and six years ago, ago we built reconstruction but copy the same of old bunker, yeah? This is original existing bunker, but we uh, not going inside in this uh, uh, catch way, but go inside in second way, yeah? Musket, musket place. I switch in my audio guide in good English, yeah? And my English also good. You speak very good English. So it's the evening now and we're in the town of Cheshish, which is one of the prettiest in Latvia and it, it looks quite nice so far.
like a partisan headquarters. No, this is the KGB headquarters. Oh, KGB. Yeah. Do you want the secret police? National heroes. Oh. Oh yeah, because Latvia's broken away. Yeah, so there wouldn't be a memorial for them during the time of the USSR, but they would have to. Yeah. 